Welcome everyone to practice. My name is Kimberly. For today, I have a 60 minute vinyasa flow that's going to be more rejuvenating for your spine and your shoulders and also your wrists. So it won't be as feisty of a flow. We won't be moving through as many vinyasas. We won't be on our hands as much. So this is a good one to just get back and recharge your body, um, let it take care of itself. So have two blocks, we'll be using them. If you don't have them, you can do the flow without. And before we get started, if you enjoyed today's class, please like and subscribe to my channel. You can leave me any questions or comments in the comment box below. I love to hear from you. So seated here, in either in Vrayarasana or Sukhasana, Just take a moment to close your eyes down. Maybe roll the shoulders a few times. And then just start to watch or observe the breath. And on the bottom of your next exhalation, take a Big inhale through the nose, just filling up. Find a little pause at the top and hold the breath in. And exhale, release that breath out. Again, inhale through the nose. Pause at the top. And exhale, release the breath. Last one, inhale through the nose. Pause, just linger at the top. And exhale, release it out. And then finding that more balanced, easeful state as you find the cadence of the breath in and out through the nose. And just keep that with you. We're gonna come into some shoulder opening right away. If you're cross-legged, come up to sit back on your heels. And then separate the knees apart. We're going to take our right arm under our left. Find an eagle wrap of the arms. And then bring your forearms down. And then drop your hips back. And I want you to push your forearms and elbows down into the floor. And then feel the shoulder blades separate apart as you do that. Take an inhale, push down. Separate the shoulder blades and then exhale to soften. And then switching gears, we're going to inhale and draw our elbows towards us. And then exhale, draw your sternum forward. So it's just very subtle, just actively opening. As you push down, draw the elbows towards your hips. And then feel that subtle lengthening of the spine and broadening of the chest. And then just sit up, take your opposite arm on top, and then elbows down. Take your first two to three breaths, just pushing the elbows down and separating the shoulder blades apart. I'm just feeling the effects of the breath as you connect to it. And then switching gears, push your elbows down and towards you and feel that ability to lengthen the spine, chest forward. Inhale, 
elbows towards you, chest forward, and then exhale, soften. Take one more full breath. And then sit up and just feel the blood rush back to the outer shoulders, upper back, maybe a little through the chest. And then come up to tabletop and then set up your blocks here. Place them on the medium height. Curl your back toes under and then lift your knees and just come right to down dog. And then wrap your triceps down. Keep hugging inner to outer shoulder. But then draw your top thighs back. So really sensing that trust in the shoulders, that strength to support you here. As we find a little more opening in the hands on the blocks. And if you don't have blocks, you'll just have your hands on the floor as we flow. Take another full breath. And then just take an inhale. You'll step your left foot in and float your right leg up. And then exhale, knee to nose, step between your hands. Just find a low runner's lunge. Sink your hips, lift your chest, take an inhale. And then left foot meets right, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise to stand, stretch the arms up. Exhale, fold forward and soften. Inhale and lengthen. And then step your right leg back. Sink the hips down. Inhale, lift the chest. And just keeping the hands on the blocks. Exhale, step your left foot back. Downward facing dog. And second side. Stretch your left leg up. Inhale. And just step it between your hands or the blocks. Drop the hips, lift the chest there, inhale. Step your right foot to meet your left as you fold, exhale. Push your feet, take an inhale, reach the arms up, maybe extend up and out. And then exhale, fold forward, hinge from your hips. Take an inhale, float the chest forward. And then exhale, step your left leg back. Bend the right knee, drop the hips, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Good, now ripple forward to plank pose. And then push your palms down into the blocks as you charge through your legs and then lift through the belly. We're gonna keep the toes curled under. I just want you to sink or lower your hips into an up dog, micro bend the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades together, keep the legs really active there, take an inhale. Back to high plank, exhale, and then downward facing dog. Good, float your right leg up. And then cross it under and over to your left upper arm in high plank. Now stay in high plank pose, right leg back, inhale. Under and over, exhale. Leg back to plank, single legged, and then cross it. Keep the foot floating, ground the left foot. Inhale, open to the side of the mat. And then extend the knee and tap the floor. And then lift from the inner thigh. And then twice more, tap. Inhale, lift, tap. And then lift and hold. Stretch your left arm overhead. Bend your right knee, set your left hand on the block. Come to side plank, inhale. Stay or just step your right foot carefully behind your left leg and lift the heart. And then look to the left thumb. Come into side plank, stack it up, 
Hug your left shoulder in the socket. And then step your right foot between the blocks. And then just tip your blocks to the highest level here. We're gonna come into a pyramid variation. So stay high in the ball, your left foot. Put a little bend in your right knee. And then inhale, your hands are on the blocks. Just extend your spine. On your exhale, keep that extension of the spine. Push through your right foot and drag your right outer hip back. So really dig through your right heel. Feel the support of the legs as you elongate through your spine. And then see if you can use your core and your legs to get lighter on your fingertips. And find this length through the spine and maintain that as you hug in through the belly. Float your left arm forward. And then your right arm forward. Biceps in line with ear. You can place a little micro bend at that right knee, but keep working that right hip back, chest forward. Three, two, Bring your fingertips back to the blocks and step your left foot to meet your right one. Fold forward. Now turn your fingers back. So we're getting this nice uh, counter for our wrists. And then float your chest forward. You can even bend the elbows a little to do that even more. So standing on the right leg, keep that. Float your left leg up. And then bend your right knee a little as you stretch your chest forward. Push through the heels of the hands. Down through the right foot. So bent knee warrior three. I'm going to add on. Keep the hands on the blocks. Take an inhale. And just bend your left knee to tap behind your right. Exhale. Twice more. Inhale. Extend the left leg. Exhale, tap somewhere behind that right knee. Inhale, extend, keeping the chest floating forward. And then exhale, tap. As you extend the left leg back, you can keep your hands on the blocks or thumbs to heart. And then three more of those taps. Bend and tap. Inhale and extend. Bend and tap. Firm the right hip in. Inhale and extend. Last one. Bend and tap. Extend the leg. Set your hands back on the blocks. And then just step left foot down. Exhale, fold forward. And separate your feet hip width apart. Soften the knees and rise to stand. Reach the arms up. And then clasp your hands behind your back. Come into chair pose. Take an inhale. Bend the knees. Standing on the left leg. Standing pigeon or figure four. Right ankle to left knee. And just feel the upper back curl as you drop your hips. And lift through the upper arms. Broaden through the chest. Allow your right thigh to just drop. Take another full breath. Now keep the clasp of the hand. Step your right foot down, hip width apart. Inhale, stand, and then curl the upper back. You can keep a four gaze, but lengthen and lift through the chest. Keep the clasp as you exhale and fold forward. Belly and thighs, just let your head go. Rock the weight towards your toes. Spiral the inner thighs behind you. Take a deep inhale. Now release your hands to your feet. Turn the blocks back to the medium height. And then step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward to plank. Exhale, go back to dog. Inhale, ripple forward to plank. Slowly exhale, go back to dog. 
And then inhale, ripple forward, plank pose. Hinge forward, look forward, chaturanga this time. Keep the toes curled under, upward facing dog. Broaden the clavicles, keep the legs really firm, supercharged. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Hmm. Inhale, left leg up, second side. And then exhale, under and over. Stay in plank, inhale, extend the left leg back. Exhale, cross body towards that right tricep. Inhale, extend. Exhale, cross. Ground the right heel. Keep the left leg lifted, open to the right. And then extend the left knee and tap the blade edge of the foot. And then lift from the inner thigh. Tap the foot. Lift the leg. Last one, slow it down. Lift it up and hold, and then straighten the right arm. And then bend your left knee to your chest, set your right hand down. You're on the more wobbly side of the, uh, the block, so just be careful if you're taking it to wild thing. So the block doesn't tip, you might keep your gaze down as you lift. Take an inhale. And then coming to side plank, keeping shoulder over wrist, hug the shoulder in the socket, pull your left knee to your chest, and then step your foot top of mat. And then knock the blocks on the highest level. Stay on the ball, the right foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And then keep that length as you exhale and dig through the left foot. Push it down and underneath you as you elongate the spine forward. Feel that left hip dragging back. Now keep that, come lighter on your fingertips. So everything stays, we're gonna stretch our right arm forward and then left arm forward. You might put a little micro bend of the knee Feel the circulation, the warmth through that left leg and hip. Take a full breath in. Fingertips to blocks and just step the right foot to the left. Feet hip width apart, inhale, lengthen. And then turn your fingers back so the heels of the hands are on the blocks. And then inhale, lengthen the front spine. Maintain that as you float the right leg back. So keep lengthening out and you can bend into that left knee. Push down through the heels of the hands and then drag the sides of the ribs forward. Take an inhale, adding on, bend your right knee to top your left. Inhale, extend. Exhale, tap. Inhale, extend. Exhale and tap. Adding on, you can stay or hands to heart. Take a breath in. Three more of those taps, exhale. Inhale, float the leg back. Exhale, tap. One more, inhale, float. Exhale, tap. Extend the leg back. Get your hands back to the blocks. And then just step your right foot to the left foot. Rise to stand, feet tip width apart. Reach the arms high. And then clasp your hands behind your back. So opposite thumb on top. Now bend your knees, standing pigeon on the right leg, left ankle to right knee. Just feel that nice release to the left outer hip. Nice broadening as you curl up through the upper back. Nice broadening through the front of the chest. Take a full inhale. Keep your clasp as you set 
your left foot down. Inhale, lift through the back of the heart. Exhale, root your knuckles down and back. Supercharge through your feet, curl through the upper spine. And then bend your knees, keep your clasps, take an inhale. Bring your belly to your thighs and then exhale, just pour forward. Keep the clasp. Drop your head, relax your neck and then squeeze, scrunch your shoulder blades together. Take an inhale. Let the neck get longer, exhale. Supercharge to the legs as you release your hands. Knock your, knock your blocks back to the medium level. And then step back to plank for this one. Hold strong in your plank, push your palms down. Take an inhale. And then lower your hips down. Keep the toes curled under, upward facing. As we lift our hips, bring right knee, left upper arm. Set the foot down, lower the hips, toes stay curled under, upward facing, micro bend the elbows, and then switch left knee, right upper arm. Lower, broaden, inhale, contract and lift, right knee, left upper arm. Set the foot down, inhale, up dog. Feel that connection to the core, exhale, cross. One more each, inhale, upper dog. Feel that connection to the legs, exhale, right knee, left. Upper dog. Left knee, right. And then upper dog, right to chaturanga. And then broaden the chest, lift your belly, stay in chaturanga. Three, two, straighten the elbows, one plank, and then down dog. Good, just take a full breath there. Notice. And inhale, look to the hands. Exhale, st just step, top of the mat. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Just stand there, take a breath in. And then exhale, keep your right arm up. Bend the elbow. Walk your fingertips down the back body. And then finding a cow face arm, left arm goes behind the back. You can use a strap here if you'd like. And get your right elbow to hug in, bicep to hug into the ear. And maybe behind the ear as well as you push the back of the skull into the forearm. And then step your feet hip width apart. Come right to chair pose. You can scoot the blocks just to the top of the mat. We won't be using them for the next flow, but they might come in handy for one pose, so keep them within reach. And then come right to chair pose, keeping the arms. We're gonna put all the weight in the right foot. Draw your left knee to your chest, and then bend into the right knee yet again as you lift through the left thigh. And then see if you can work that <laughs> hugging of the back of the skull into the form as you draw pubic bone to sternum. So there's your low belly. Figure four, left ankle, right knee. And then sit your seat back down again. Flex your left ankle and hug your right hip in. Maybe tip in a little more, take another breath. Now keep the arms, stand on the right leg, left knee to chest. 
Grow long and tall through the spine and straighten and extend your left knee. Take a full inhale, reach through the left toes. Digasana, so warrior three, float the left leg back. And then roll the left hip to your right hip and start to bend your right knee. As you lift from the left inner thigh, Keep lengthening the spine, lift the belly, take an inhale. And then tip back to crescent lunge, exhale. Open your arm or stretch your arms up and open them to the right. And then come to warrior two, exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior. But before you do, clasp your hands and take them to your right hip crease. And then tip to your left. You can drop your ear to your shoulder there. Feel your right knee in space. As you draw it to your right, strengthen the left leg, so hug all the muscles around the bone. And then keep that as you tip, tip, tip in the side angle here. So we'll free up the right arm, set your elbow to your knee, or inside the foot. And then lengthen your tailbone toward your left heel. Feel that support of the legs and the pelvis to roll the chest open. Feel the pose, feel the breath. On your next exhalation, just free up what you have. We're going to come into a pyramid variation. So it's a wide leg. It's about as wide as the mat. So hands are inside your foot. This is where you might need your blocks. So you're going to stay high in the ball of your left foot. And as you straighten the right leg, I want you to rock to the heel and flex the foot. All right, so you might use blocks here, so you come back to elongating and lengthening the spine and get your hands right under your shoulders. But the right foot is flexed for this one and your legs are a little wider. I keep hugging the skin of the right hip back there as you dig the right heel underneath you. You're gonna wanna scrunch your shoulders, keep lengthening out and lift your right quad. Pull your toes to your knee. <laughs> Take another breath. And then set your foot down. Scoot the blocks out of the way if you're using them and just come to side plank here. So no blocks. And I want you to find a straight line in your side plank so we're not finding a C shape, and we're not lowering or sinking, but a straight line from heels to hips to shoulders. So it's probably gonna feel really different. Right arm up, maybe bicep to ear. Push the left inner palm down and underneath you there, and then lengthen your tailbone to your heels. Take a full breath. Now listen carefully on your exhale. Bring your right hand down, just come to plank. We're gonna do a variation of chaturanga with our wrist therapy here. So turn your right hand around 180 degrees, so fingers back. Left hand stays, and then just a little bend of both elbows, chaturanga. As you straighten the arms, flip the fingers forward. Left hand, turn the fingers back. 
Look forward, inhale, exhale, chaturanga, just a little bend. Pause, inhale up. Plank, let's do that twice more. Thumb out, fingers back, right hand. Little bend the elbows. You might feel different chest muscles turn on even. Straighten the arms, turn the fingers forward. Left fingers back, inhale, chaturanga. Nice stretch for the wrist, one more each side. Right fingers, turn them back, chaturanga. Up, left fingers, turn them back, chaturanga. Up, downward facing dog. Just take a full breath and notice the heat you created. Maybe a little more circulation up the forearms. Nice heat we built in that right side. And then look to your hands. You can stop or hop if you want, top of the mat. And then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Let's separate the feet hip width apart. Pada Hastasana. So thumbs in, fingers back, bend the knees, lengthen. And then exhale, fold. Get that nice forward fold here. Shake out the head a little. Then I take another full breath. And then release your hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Coming to stand there, take a big breath, reach your arms high. And exhale, take your right arm behind your back and bend the left elbow. So cow face your arms, you might use a strap. Left arm up, right arm behind. And then feet hip width apart, come into chair. All the weight on the left foot, right knee to chest. Keep the left knee bending as you ascend the right thigh. And then take your, the back of the skull into the left forearm. Draw pubic bone to sternum. Grow taller as you sink the hips. And now figure four, just setting the ankle above the knee. And then sink down into it. Expand through the upper ribs as you breathe in. Hmm. Lift through the navel as you breathe out. Keep the arms coming right back to crane, but straighten the standing knee for this one. Now straighten the right knee or extend it. And then lengthen the spine without leaning back. So keep hugging the front rows back, lifting the left elbow straight up. Supercharge for your left foot, warrior three, as you sweep your right leg back. And then digasana, so essentially just bending the left knee. Just a little, you might tip in a little more lower than parallel or stay parallel. Firm the left hip in even more. And then tip back to crescent lunge. Reach both arms up. Inhale. Open arms, twist. Exhale. Warrior two, inhale. And then clasp your hands and make a fist at your left hip crease as you tip to your right. Reverse warrior. Lift your right inner thigh, take a breath in. Hug your shoulder blades together, and then keep that as you tip to side angle. And then release the left arm. 
can set the elbow on the knee or hand inside the foot. And find that straight line to the right hip, down through the heel and up through the shoulder. Feel that support of the legs and the pelvic floor even to then lengthen and rotate open. Breathe into all those little crevices. Soften what you don't need. Good. Look to your left foot there. Come to your wide leg pyramid. You might use blocks here. But then flex your left foot. So that's really the only difference other than wide legs. So come to blocks, but hands under shoulders or hands just on the mat. Lengthen out. Root through the left heel. Squeeze your left quad to the bone. And then really turn your toes towards your shin. Direct them towards your knee. Scrub your left heel down and under you. Float your heart forward, three breaths. One more. Come back to the ball of the foot, nicely done. Straight line, side plank. And then you might just lower and lift the hips a little. Find somewhere in between if you don't have a mirror to guide you. It's going to feel lower than usual. And then left arm up, maybe bicep to ear. But then take your butt in slightly. Just so you feel that support all around the spine there as you lengthen. Go ahead, take a full breath. And then exhale, come to your hands there. Set your forearms down. You can clasp your hands or press your palms together. And just walk your feet in for dolphin. Option one, stay. Option two, lift your right leg. But we're not going to hop. You might come to the ball of the left foot and allow your shoulders to draw more and more over the elbows, but then push your elbows down and feel your chest lifting away as you drop your head away from the floor. Try to get as light as you can on that left foot. And then just switch sides. Left leg up. Maybe coming to your tippy toes. As your shoulders go over the elbows, push your forearms and elbows down. Get heavier in your elbows. Let your head drop. Reach for your feet. Lift through your chest. Side ribs. And then set that foot down. Take a little pause in child's pose. And then come to downward facing dog. Stretch your right leg up. Lean your shoulders over your wrist, so shorten your dog a lot. And then just hop and switch your legs. As you push your hands down, keep the elbows from breaking. Exhale as you switch. Inhale as you land. So it doesn't have to be fast. Just take your time. Feel that floaty quality of the legs.
And then bring both feet down. Keep your dog short. Step your feet together. But then turn them out so the heels connect and then sit back towards them. We're going to do frog hops. So as you hop up, exhale, hop up, exhale, land light. Three more. On that third one, hop to Malasana. And then thumbs to heart. And now clasp your fingers and just circle your wrists with your hands together. And then make figure eights. A little bit of a mind bender. And then switch directions. And then come to center and just regulate the breath. Lift through the chest and stand through the feet. Feel your outer hips turn on. And the spine grow taller. And then lift your hips so your elbows lift higher than the knees. Upper body back. And then push your feet to come all the way up. And then step your feet hip width, toes forward, reach your arms up. Take an inhale. And then clasp your hands behind your back. Go ahead, take an inhale. I just want you to find that upper back curling. Forward gaze. So my thumb is between your shoulder blades. Supercharge through the feet. And then keep your clasp. Fold forward and down. Chair pose, inhale. Stand on the right leg, warrior three, left leg back, exhale. Keep lifting your thumbs away from your sacrum if possible. Digging in from the, the navel to zip up the low belly. Take a full breath in. Warrior two. Just take your arms up and overhead. Hook your thumbs. And then straighten your right leg. Keep breaking the chain of the thumbs as you tip into Trikonasana. So using that strong straight line to lengthen both side bodies. Strength and support of the legs. Fill up the back ribs as you inhale. Enable the spine, exhale. Now keep everything, just bend your right knee. And then inhale, push your feet, reverse warrior. And then keep the thumb hook side angle like this. And then allow that right arm to just come inside the foot. Turn the left pinky finger back and stay here, extended side angle. If you want half or full bind, round two. I like to look down my right shin, especially in the full bind. And just feel that stretch up through the left side of the neck, top of the shoulder. And then hug your right hip into the socket. Take another full breath there. And 
And then cartwheel your hands to frame your right foot. Step into the easy twist position here. Float your right arm up. And then come to your left fingertips, lift your left leg, revolve half moon, keep the shape. And try to get light on that left fingertips. You don't have to hover, but using more of the support around the core and the hips as you revolve open. Three, two, take an inhale. And then vinyasa, plant your palms any way through, choose your exit. Downward facing. Good, come back to hands and knees, bring your elbows down. So clasp your hands or press your palms together. You can even have your palms down. Walk your elbows in slightly. Make sure they're not bowing. You want to use your strength here to keep hugging your upper arms into the socket. And we'll come up to dolphin again, round two. You can float the right leg up and stay. Maybe tip as you push down or take flight. Try to find a neutral gaze here. So as you push through the elbows, you're drawing your chest through the gay of the arms. And lifting up. And then switch. If you're lifting a leg, just switch which leg. If you're upside down, push through the elbows, lift through the chest, drop the head. Keep the feet engaged, legs engaged. Take a full breath. And then come back to dolphin. And then separate your palms, shoulder width. Bend your knees. See how slowly you can charge, lift the elbows right to chaturanga. Upward facing. Inhale, downward facing. And then take a hop to malasana. Upper body back, detach the elbows, stand taller, push your feet, come all the way to stand. You can hop or step, feet hip width apart, reach the arms high, and then clasp opposite thumb on top. And then curl through the upper back. For this one, if you want, if it feels good, let the gaze drop. Keep the legs really supercharged. Inhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, keep the clasp. Chair, inhale. Standing on the left foot, warrior three. Digasana, start to bend the left knee. Scrunch your shoulder blades together. You might tip beneath the line of parallel. <laughs> when a Fred has her cameo appearance, as always, take a full breath there. And then step back to where you're two. Hook your thumbs. Straighten your left leg. Keep breaking the chain of the thumbs and then bump your hips to the right, Trikonasana. 
Notice if you tend to swing your hips left, right? Hug your left hip in, lounge your back ribs into a imaginary wall behind you. Then lengthen your tailbone to the right heel. Becomes a completely different posture. <sighs> Take a breath in. Keep the arms really strong. Everything else is you start to bend into that left knee. Keep the thumb hook. Inhale, reverse. Push through the feet. Keep the thumb hook. Exhale. Left elbow to thigh as you spin the right palm back or hand and side foot. And then stay in extended side angle or find a bind, half or fall. Push your right foot to lengthen as you roll open. Take one more full breath. And exhale, release your hands. Come into your easy twist, stretch your left arm up. And then come to your right fingertips, walk your right fingers forward as you lift your right leg. Revolved half moon. One more big breath. Exhale, standing splits. And then choose your exit. Take your vinyasa. Child's pose for a moment. Maybe arms alongside your hips, third eye center down. And then make your way to your belly. I'm gonna find a pec stretch here. Take your right arm in a cactus shape and then roll on your right hip. So you can stagger the knees. Use the support of the left hand Keep your right hand down or on a pillow or a block. Or you might straighten the right leg and kickstand the left behind it. And then roll to your chest just enough so now you can straighten the arm. Make sure it's straight out from the shoulder socket. And then just come back. Now, if you're kickstanding the left foot, you might feel comfortable bending and just drawing the heel in close enough, bending at the knee to grab the foot. So it's a variation of Dhanurasana, floor bow. Push through the shin, roll open through the chest as you anchor through the right hip and the front of the right shoulder. It becomes more of just an active stretch here. Keep the support of the core so you don't spin open. <laughs> Take one more full breath. 
And then release your ankle. And just come to your belly, second side. Starting with the cactus shape of the elbow. And then roll to your left hip. And don't force it, just investigate the arrangement of the legs at its best. I shouldn't feel painful in any way. I'm not getting into more pec minor with this one. And then come to your ballet just enough to straighten the arm. And then roll back open. Maybe grab the right ankle. Keeping the weight of that left hip, left side of the skull. It might help if you feel imbalanced to imagine you're standing on your left leg. Hmm, good, gently release, come to your belly. And then we're gonna come to floor bow. So forehead down, if you cannot grab your ankles with your forehead down, can take a locust pose. Once you have your ankles, I like to hug my thighs in, bring my heels to my sits bones, and lift my shoulder heads up. Then push through the top thighs and pubic bone. Keep the shoulders lifting as you broaden your chest and lift it, lift it. And then top thighs. But make it more about shins back. Toes straight up as you hug in. Take a full breath in. And then exhale to release. Take your hands together. Thumbs under third eye. Bend your knees and just windshield wiper shin side to side. And then push back to child's pose just for a moment. And then turn around to a seat. And find Janushasana, so left heel to right, inner thigh or hip crease. And then sit up nice and tall, flex your right foot. Exhale, fold over that leg. You can grab anywhere around the shin, ankle, or foot. As you inhale, lift your chest and get your belly over the thigh, so more of your navel. It feels like a little bit of a rotation to your right. And then exhale, keep that as you fold. Inhale, look to your right foot, and exhale, sit up. Just switch sides. Sit up tall as you breathe in. Fold over that leg. And then re 
be fine. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, get your belly over the thigh. So pick it up and fold it over. And grab anywhere around the left leg. Just keep your hands to the floor. Just take one more full breath. Inhale, sit up, and just make your way to your back. Feet flat with knees bent. We're just going to come right to bridge or full wheel. So take your pick. When you're ready, inhale, lift the hips. Feel the support of the feet. This ability to hug back through the belly to lengthen the low back. If you're coming up to full wheel. Lift through the upper back. Firm through your inner palms. And then maybe push your feet almost to where they f might completely straighten to send the heart towards the wall you can see. You might even lift chin to chest. And then let the head go. And just soak it up there. And when you're ready to come out, gently come all the way back. And we're going to counter with a more stimulating pose, coming right to fish. I'm going to give you the option to come into full lotus. If that doesn't feel good, just don't worry about it. Don't do it. <laughs> And so arms alongside you, if you're not in lotus, the legs are straight. And then draw your elbows towards you to curl up through the chest. Even prop yourself up here. And you want to be very light on the head, or the crown of the head. So as you pry open through the chest, lift through the low back, and then let your head go. So you find that set up from the shoulders. Open through the throat. Lift up through your heart. If you're in lotus, grab your feet if that's comfortable so you don't have the support of the elbows. A little more active. back to the elbows, chin to chest, and then unravel the legs. And just step your feet off the mat, windshield wiper them side to side. And then give yourself any last pose. You can hug your knees in. Just take a big breath there. And on your exhale, release into Shavasana.
just take another moment, just letting the qualities and the effects of your more rejuvenating practice integrate. Giving yourself more time here if you need it and if you're able. Or if you'd like, just gently make your way to a seat. Sit up tall and take a moment to notice and check in. Before heading back into your day. Take a big breath in, fill up. Hold it in and bring your hands to your heart. Bow your gaze. And then exhale the breath. Namaste.